You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Hopefully I didn't scare you there, but I'm excited because I showed this in a previous video and amongst other ice cream makers and everyone said, well, not everyone, a larger selection of people said, let's check out this one because it makes two flavors at one time, the real two-in-one ice cream maker from Crazy Art. Now let's just see here. Well, it says right there, it makes two delicious flavors in just 10 minutes. No batteries needed, because it's all turning power, ages five plus. Now I see a popsicle here, so I think there's more to the set that meets the eye. There is one side of the box, not much there, not much there, repeat, repeat, repeat. Same down there, okay. Let's see what we have. It says mixed flavors, okay. Turn and press, turn and press. Make, oh, turn, then press. Make two flavors at once. What is the year? 2015, so it's only uh, five years old, right? So we'll see. Now I have, well, it shows, oh, there's a little popsicle thing. So be creative, enhance your ice cream by adding sprinkles, flavored syrup, or fresh fruit not included. All right, and then I have this bonus pack here, which I also showed you because this, well, they show three flavors on the front of the box. Uh, but I also have this green and purple to add to the three that are there. I can't wait to make them for you. Uh, if it only takes 10 minutes, it looks like I can make uh, two at a time, four different colors. Uh, we should be good to go with uh, as many of these as possible. So let's do this. Let me get this out of the box with you and then, well, I will come back and uh, do that next. Okay, we are in full ice cream production here. We will see how this goes. All right, we have an instruction sheet that explains everything about this ice cream maker. We have vanilla. It doesn't seem like there's a lot in there, so it's a, just a little bit of flavoring. Another vanilla. A little bonus sheet here to make the ice cream. And then some little stickers. Not sure where those go just yet. Here's a nice big scoop. Here is the push down thing. Okay, so this actually looks like it's all together. Almost ready to go. There's a little bowl. Oh, so that was a fake cone on the front. Here is the little popsicle thing. What would you call that? A spoon, and then this also has chocolate and strawberry. Okay, so that's in that box. Let's check out how the packaging is on this box. This kind of lists everything back here. Uh, 2015, the date, which somebody scratched off, I did not. Probably the person selling it thinking, hmm, it's all original. Never been out of the box. Okay, it looks like similar instructions. Actually, it looks like the whole instruction booklet. And then, oh, here's all the packets, okay. Same kind of packets. So we have chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, mint, and then raspberry, all right. Okay, so that's what's in that. All right, let me do this. Let me investigate this a little bit, see how it's all put together. And then I'll eventually wash it. But let me put it together, see how the pieces go together and how it works. Okay, so I just noticed these go around the front. So let's do that. Now, I think, technically speaking, I want to start with this in the middle and then see how it ends up. So let's do that. Okay. I don't know how far around it's going to go, but if we start in the middle, we should be okay. goes all the way around the sides. Ooh, it doesn't like the placement of that one. It's gotta be a little higher. See, it's these things you don't know until you actually do it. Right? Okay. And then this one. Look at all the pretty colors on my little stickers. Was there an easy way to do it? I don't know, an easier way to put these on. I can't say, but it almost looks like they needed to be way up at the top. Okay, 
And then this looks like it pops open. Let's see. Okay, it does. And then this, well, this is all just like the bonus items that you're going to use to put your ice cream in. So there is a cup. Here is my little Sunday bowl. And then here is this little popsicle thing. And then it looks like this usually does something like this. Oh, yeah, there we go. So this is the stopper. So it must be something you're going to put in later. I'm not sure. Well, let's look. Where it goes. Once it goes underneath. Ah, there we go. There's a little a couple hooks there. Okay. So that's pushed against that. That's that. So this is turning. This is where you put your salt and ice. Okay. Salt and ice in here. So you have two sides. Now, if you want to make all vanilla, they give you two packs. You can fill up both sides at the same time. All right. Now, there's a little seal around the outside there. The other one was still in there, but that's locking in the salt mixture. This is one unit. Goes in here. There's this gearing in the middle, and then there's a gear at the top here. So you're kind of locking this back in and spinning. Time to make the ice cream. Time to make the ice cream. What's uh, this black thing actually made the mark on my countertop? I just noticed it. Time to make the ice cream, time to make the ice cream. It says two in one ice cream here. Flavor one, flavor two, push, push when you're ready. We've done similar ones like this, so hopefully they've all worked pretty good. This will be the same. To help break down the mix better, use only two tablespoons of half and half first in the powder mix and stir until mix dissolves. Then add remaining a third cup of half and half. To make flavors at once, to make two flavors at once, follow above steps for both flavors. So I'll need a couple bowls, third of a cup, tablespoons, and then yeah, they show you just pouring it in there. That's it with that. Let's take a look at this. Instructions. Oh, so it does completely disassemble. So it looks like someone had assembled it but never used it. Oh, and these do come apart. Place the assembled drums on the top of tray in the middle. In the middle, let's see. So it looks like they do come apart. Oh yeah, all right. See, you just gotta study and look. What I'll do is I'll take it all apart, then come back uh, after it's washed and put it together for you. And then after that, we will be ready to make some ice cream. I will be back. Oh, by the way, ice cream bar instructions. Fill the lid of the ice cream bar with ice cream and insert the ice cream Bar stick. Freeze for 15 minutes in an upright position. After ice cream is frozen, carefully remove the ice cream from the lid. If the ice cream bar does not release from the mold, run under warm water for 20 seconds and then gently pull it apart. So using the ice cream for that. All right, looks like we're going to have some fun here. So I'll be back. All right, here we go. Time to make some ice cream. Now I'm going to make the two packs separately. I know I could probably combine them, but I want to get used to making individual mixes. So we need a third of a cup of half and half. So I'm going to do that in each one here. But they did make a suggestion. So let's do this here. I'll set this here. And then you know, I'll tell you what, I got another uh, measuring cup here. I'm just going to pour that in that measuring cup. So now I have the rest of my half and half for all the other mixes right there. Okay, so then they said third of a cup and put two tablespoons in with the powder. So it says use two mixing bowls from kitchen, one for each flavor. After stirring each flavor and when the mixes are completely dissolved, you are ready to pour into the double scoop tray. But you do need to get your ice ready. So that is the next step. They show you in this recipe booklet here to do the mix first and then setting up the aluminum drums. Okay, so here we go. El Cicero's. They're in these nice foil packs, so I can't expect them to have any issues. All right, so it says, to help break down the mix better, use only two tablespoons of half and half first in the mix and stir until dissolved. Let's get that one there. It doesn't seem like much, does it? Now let's get this one here. Two tablespoons, okay. So we know this is a third of a cup, and then you just do this one, and then get that mixed up real well, it says, till it's dissolved. 
I'm not sure how that helps, but let's do it. Trying to follow, I always try to follow as close as possible to the instructions, unless I see something that's a little, you know, awry. What I may do though, is I may put these in the fridge while I'm getting the other part of the process done. Okay, we'll keep that in there, the rest in here. So that's about how much ice cream we're gonna make of the vanilla for each side of the drum. Okay, I'm gonna mix that a little bit more, but I wanna get this one set now. So a third of a cup. This one, can you see that there? Uh, you could see just enough. Okay, there we go. And then two tablespoons, one. Two. Now mix that up. Okay. There we go. Here's my two vanilla mixes. All right, I'll mix a little bit more. I'm gonna get these two in the uh, refrigerator, let them chill a little bit, and then I will be back now and do the ice. Okay, now it is time for this. I noticed they looked a little bit different in those two, even though I used the same amount. I don't know, so I kind of evened them out just a little bit between the two. It was a little strange. I'm like, wait a minute. Maybe I had one just slightly different than the other. I'm not sure. But I have since corrected that. So it says fill these up, but don't overstuff. You gotta get the lids on. It says fill with small ice cubes or crushed ice. And then put in six spoons with their spoon of salt. Here's one. Three, four, five, six. Now I'm using ice cream salt. Now they, you can use table salt. I've had this discussion before in videos. I have like three boxes of this. I got this on clearance, I think it was, yes. Clearance, long time ago, but it's still good. Is that three, is that four? I've lost track. Five, it doesn't matter really. Not that important. I'll be adding and going, I'll be adding and adjusting as I go to get all of the different flavors. So, not a big deal. It's gonna work, I already know it's gonna work. Okay, I think we're good there. Okay, let's take off a few. Now remember, the salt never touches the actual ice cream. These are sealed and these are gonna rotate they don't necessarily like clip down real nice I would expect like a or something okay then this goes into this okay those are set now let's get this in here oh actually let me go get my mixes now and then I can actually start making the ice cream okay I've mixed these again they are ready to go Now I noticed they're a little bit different in between the two, so let me transfer some over. I don't know how that actually worked out. I thought I was pretty accurate there. I don't know if it's the bowls, but let's see. Okay, it was about two tablespoons. Didn't I do the tablespoons? I thought I did all that. All right, now it says 
Pour the contents of the first bowl on the one side of the scoop tray, then pour the contents of the second bowl on the other side of the double scoop tray. Okay. Now it doesn't say two times of half and half. Half and half, third of a cup. No, I did all that. All right. Here we go. Now I'm guessing there's the fill line there. It's that little, there's like a little notch down there, and that's what I'm going to use as my fill line because if I go too high, then what's going to happen? is it's going to be pushed out when you put the drums in. So that looks like the fill line. So let's put this in. Okay, that's good. It should be touching now. It's touching. That's good. Like this. All right. Let me start mixing. All right. Reading while I'm mixing. Let's see. Okay. Let's make yummy ice cream. Keep this uh, scraper, this thing, uh, oval button, uh, oval button, leaving leaning forward. Okay. There we go. To hold the toy in place, place one hand on the cover and slowly turn the crank counterclockwise. That's clockwise. This is counterclockwise. At least that's the way the arrow is going. In a few minutes, you will see the frozen mixture start to form on the drum surface. It is. Crank for six to seven minutes. All right, here we go. Six to seven minutes. Whew. That's not bad. Okay, so I have about five minutes left. Ooh, this needs to be forward. Looks like it's catching. It's dripping. I'll tell you what, it did say to put the Sunday bowl in here, so let's do that so it's gonna catch any of the, we got some runoff down here in aisle seven. Runoff in aisle seven. This needs to be forward. Okay, four more minutes. I'll bring you back up here. Ignore the dripping. There we go. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Actually, no, it's getting worse now. There just must be a lot of ice cream forming on the drum itself. Then it says, use your thumb to push oval center button and crank slightly. Use a spoon to taste for desired consistency. The mixtures are still not frozen. Release the scraper and continue cranking. When you have desired consistency, push the oval center button again. Continue to crank slowly until drums turn in one full rotation and scrape all ice cream into the ice cream dish. Three minutes. It's really building up nice. Wow, it's really coming out. I think their little system there doesn't give you room as it builds up like it is now. Two minutes.
Yeah, it was better when I was pushing this out of the way. One minute. I think we're ready. 30 seconds. Quick camera angle change, and I will come right back. My timer's about to go off, so I'll spare you headphone users. All right, here we go. Now you want to hold this in, hold the side, and extract the ice cream. But I think you need to go this way, yes. Whoa. It's having a hard time just getting through. There we go. Come on, buddy. I think there's too much there. Look at that. Let's push that down. Hmm. I want to say that the system has some flaws. There we go. One revolution, it said. It's struggling with that. Wow, it's almost like there's too much ice cream in there. See that? It's it's blocking up. And it's a really good consistency. It's not a mushy. That's what you want, like that. Okay, that's better. Okay, so it's kind of finicky. Let's get this out of here. Let's get this out of here. Let's see if we can get the rest to fall in there. Okay. Would you say finicky? I'm going to say finicky. Let's get this open. The only way to find to open this out easily is to kind of put pressure, but now everything's frozen around it. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Ah, that's better. Okay, now. There we go. All right, so that's our first batch. Now I'm gonna make some modifications for sure. I think it's almost too frozen. Look at that. All right, and let's see what this looks like in here. So it's pretty much all gone. So let me clean up. I'm gonna transfer this to another bowl and I will come back and I will do two more flavors. Maybe we'll modify a few things. Like don't go the full time when it's still a little softer. I think I want it softer. And uh, we'll see. All right, I'll be right back. You know what I just realized? I had extra vanilla, so I'm gonna make a little more and then experiment with this one a little. Okay. I think I went over the line on this side. Let's put a little on this side. We're probably going to get some coming out now. Let's just get this back in. Okay. And I'm going to set it for four minutes. Okay. 
let's do this again. Let's do this again. See how this is a, this is this is definitely like flimsy up here and could be part of the issue. The whole thing seems a little crooked. Okay, here we go. Bear with me. Clean as you go. Ooh, let's do this. Let's come up with a word. Okay. Let's come up with the word, how about a rye? Now, the funny thing is, I was trying to spell the word a rye, which probably a lot of you, like the situation, like this ice cream went slightly awry. Let's see how you all spell that. Not a fun word, but more of a word that, you know, requires a little spelling bee. Okay, so I had I had the timer for five. I said four, so I'm at three. So it's been two minutes. I'm gonna go a little longer and see before it hardens on there. Let's just see. I want to just do a reference here. See, I like that already. It's a little soft and it came off real nice. Okay. Let's keep that that. That was much better, wasn't it? Now when you're doing two flavors, you're gonna get them both in the same Sunday bowl. It's catching now. So I think it should be five minutes. Don't do what I just did. That was just an experiment. Oh, it's slowly falling. Look at that. Don't be alarmed, because the alarm is going to go up. Okay. Here we go. Much better. Still getting a little resistance, but 
overall. That's better. It's a little softer. You know, my temptation is to taste it right now, but... Okay, that's all cleaned out. Let's see if we can get this apart easier. Let's get this out of the way. Let's save all this. All right, I'm gonna bring all this to the freezer now that I have two flavors. I'm gonna move this to my other bowl. Well, let me do that with you now. Let's see what's in there, because it's a curiosity to me as to what's going on here. But it looks like we have a decent amount, a nice bowl. This will mix better now. Looks more like ice cream. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got here. I'm still not too keen on that hooking system. Okay, there's a little bit in there, a little more than last time. I can't imagine doing the colors and it working out where it's not all just mixed together. But either way, freezer, clean, come back and do two more flavors. Well, here's what happens after you clean everything to prep it for the next flavors. Now, technically speaking, you don't really need to do that if you don't mind your flavors crossing over. You could just start with the next batch. Pour right in where the vanilla the vanilla was. I'm concerned now because it never says to use a fill line. Where does it say? Pour the contents of the first bowl into one side of the double scoop tray, then pour the contents of the second bowl into the other side of the double scoop tray. There's no way it would fit. Period. Exclamation. It should be pour half the contents because that's what would fit. Okay, so this has been pretty much run under water. So I'm gonna take these apart. I'm gonna have to refresh those. I'm just kind of giving you a, a complete insight of the process. And I like everything as clean as possible. Now I miss some things, but overall, this is the this is the mechanism I'm not too keen on. You almost have to pull this out like I've been doing, it doesn't easily pull up. So that's why this is kind of bent out. You notice that? Okay, I was thinking too, I wonder if there's a way that I could fit two containers here. I'll figure that out, let's check these. Okay, so these are no longer usable. So let me dump that out. Oh, I'll use this measuring cup here. Refreshing these up. I could probably still use them with the ice, but you see how fast they melted. But I got two batches of ice cream out of that. Okay, six scoops this time I will not stop counting because I don't know if I made a mistake on that last one. Two, three, four, five, six. You're next. Three, four, five, six. Now being a chunkier salt, the, the table salt definitely like a thinner, probably easier to maintain in these containers. It would probably fall and fill down better. Okay, that feels snug as a bug. All right, now the mixes. 
Okay, finding said scissors. That's what I'm doing now. It gets really chaotic with everything here. Now, uh, again, two, ha two times of half and half. What does that mean, two times? Oh, two times tablespoons. That's it. So the little picture's a little, little off there. Chocolate. And strawberry. Mmm. Smells like bubble gum, actually. Okay, this is a third of a cup. I was very cautious when I did this one, just to make sure I'm doing this right one. Now mix this, then add the rest. Do, 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 do. Remember the first word. This time, I'm jumping right in. That one's done. And no, I'm not going to put this in there just like that. Did you think I was? Clean and ready. Okay, a third of a cup. I want you to watch me this time, just to make sure I'm right on. A third of a cup. See the line? Camera might be a little crooked. That is just under about a tablespoon. Okay, I'm going with that. Are you happy with that? I've ever made this many flavors of ice cream in one video. See? With so many videos, 7,000 plus videos, I'm still finding new things to do. Oh, I love the smell of that. I love the color of that. I'm still trying to figure out the best way for me to do step two by sort, sort, sorting out the flavors coming out of the machine. I don't really tell you that. Let's put it in the machine. Okay, flavor one, flavor two. Let's get these out of the way. Now, last time I mixed these, then did those, but I'm pretty confident here that they are still solid, which they are. Okay. Not digging this piece. Okay, now you don't want to go in. There you go. Not my favorite part of this machine. Okay, chocolate on the left. To the fill line, which they don't mention. See how much extra there is? It's two batches for each flavor. Strawberry on the right. Okay. Drums in. 
Okay. Close and mix. Let me get two containers and I will start mixing. Okay, I'm hoping this works, but I'll put these two here and hopefully it'll nicely fit through and work. We will see. Oh, I just took a screenshot of my alarm clock here. <laughs> start. Okay, here we go. Oh, that first initial. Oh, let me get that. That's pretty cool. See that? I see giblets of powder that could have probably been mixed a little longer. We'll just call those chocolate chips. Don't tell anybody. Make sure this is back. Okay, good. Yeah, it's it's maybe an eighth of an inch off the chambers, so it really should be further up away. And that's why I was getting a lot of dripping on that first batch. And I'm probably going to get it this time. So I'll put this here temporarily. Oh, second word I'm going to do is skippy. You know the first word. The second word is skippy. Now I've had some people take all three of my words and try to put them in a sentence. We'll see how that one works out. There we go. We're getting drippage. Even though it's totally out of the way. Where's that actually coming from? Yeah, it's coming from this side. There, now it shouldn't do it. I'm putting a lot of pressure on it to stop that. Two minutes and then this will be five. I guess I could just pull this back. One minute. Oops. Okay, that's good. 30 seconds by the time I get this out of here, this here, this here, 
We'll see if we can do this. Here we go. I'll be right back setting this up. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's getting stuck again. There we go. I'm going to take some pressure off. Oh, sorry, headphone users. Let's see if we can just squish that down. Okay, let's see if we can get this out. Yeah, till I actually like take this and put my finger in there and wiggle it all out. I can't open it. Just set that there, pour the rest of the chocolate in. The rest of the vanilla. Start. I don't think I like that camera angle. I think I want to stay up here with you. So overall, my uh, synopsis of the machine so far is that the actual mechanism here, like there should have been a, a, like a hook somewhere on the side or something that's easier to get in there to pull it apart. That's my only concern right now. And the directions did not say, it said put all of it in there. And my gut instinct is no, do not do it. It's going to go everywhere. So I think that little level there, that little line, that's your level line. You know, maybe it says it somewhere and I missed it in the instruction. So we'll just give it the benefit of the doubt that oh, this holds back now. What do you say I take some of the chocolate one and make that the ice cream bar? Ooh, this is bothering me. Look at this. Much better. Oops.
Yeah, nice to have a little bigger platform too when you're doing two flavors like this. I think we're pretty good. Looking at the consistency now, I think we are ready to go. So let's do this. Let's change the camera angle and let's extract the two flavors. Okay. Right on cue. Sorry, did not warn you. Okay, so let me get this now. Okay, here's the chocolate and the strawberry. Looks very nice. And it says just fill us up and then freeze this. So, oh, let's do this. Let's put chocolate. And then let's put some strawberry. Then put this in there and freeze. Okay, so we have that treat. These two are going in the freezer and let me clean everything up come back and do the last two flavors okay here we go moving right along clean the machine again for the third time i've got my ice prepped uh, in the bowl ready to go crushed now for the next two flavors the mint which i'm really looking forward to and then the raspberry which should be purple Ooh, that smells good okay let's see the picture shows a really nice purple. What do you think? Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't look too much like the strawberry, but it does. Okay, two scoops. One. Two. This is actually the first mix that's ever told me to put in just a little bit first to incorporate, then add the rest. That's never been told to us before. Hopefully that does turn purple when you get the milk in it. So I wonder in general if the uh, powders themselves uh, being just a little bit out of date by a few years. Uh, that's why they didn't mix up as good in the other ones, the chocolate in this one. This one seems to be mixing up really nice. Okay, that one is set. A nice mint and it smells very minty. And then, so I let you know, when I took that apart, I scraped out the extra. So I got a little bit extra of the two colors because the ice cream bar took some of those. So ultimately, I think what I'm going to do is make a sundae, make an ice cream cone, and then use the ice cream bar. So I'll have three accoutrements or three different types like they show on the box. Oh, it's very pink. But when you add that little extra, you tend to lose the color. I wonder, too, if just the powders are a little bit different in regards to the quantity. All right. Let 
There we go. Very nice. Now, right into this, I'm trying to not stop as much. So if we were doing this in the kitchen, we'd have a whole system going. I'm gonna go a little less and then top it off. Two, three, that's a little weak, four, that's better, five, six. I want a little heavier on those. Actually, maybe just a couple more, a little, no, not that. There we go. Nice. One, two, three, four. There, were you counting for me? I hope so. All right, here we go. Let's make the next batch. So I was counting the bowls. I've used two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven bowls and three measuring cups so far to get through this. Wait, let's do it this way. So you get a nice pour inside, and I can see the level line now. Right there, flavor one. And now flavor number two. Well, we know the process, so let us continue here. Uh, timer, come on, timer, timer. Where are you, timer? Timer, why don't you want, oh, my fingers are wet, and start. Here we go, hold this back. That first initial turn is the coolest when you're watching. Here we go. I will need to keep my hands in the way. Ooh, it's such a light green. Okay. Okay, so you know the two first buzzwords. Why do I give those? Well, that's kind of a joke to me anyway, uh, for to see if anybody's watching the whole video and actually studying what I say, as opposed to just skipping, 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 give me a word. That's why I don't repeat them. So the third word of the day is, hmm, let me think about this. I'm looking around my room. Hmm. I remember the first word, and then I remember the second word. The third word is kitchenette. That's a tough one. To spell? But then again, I know some of you probably look in the comments section and get the words there. Maybe, no cheating. So 
So the channel, let's talk about the channel. I am now uh, fixing all of the content going back to 2010. That's actually fixed. I'm on 2011, that's 142 videos. The problem is 2012, there's 2000 plus videos. Then 2013, maybe a thousand, 2014, a thousand, and it goes 900, 800, 700, 600, blah, 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 all the way to last year, which was the least of amount of videos I've done in the last three or four years for reasons out of my control. So that's why you've seen the intro and outro change. I've taken out all kinds of anima- all the animation is gone, just to be safe. And then I'm cleaning up all the descriptions, keywords, titles, going back to 2010. Now that is over 7,000 videos. Now I don't have to do all 7,000, but it's been a project. It will be a project. I figure it's going to take me three months, maybe four months to finish that. Oh, you shouldn't be touching. It's still touching. I could see right through. I don't like that. Well, I do have a minute, so here's what I can do. I can get this out of here, since it's already starting to do its thing. Let's see. Oh, I see why. It shifted. Oh, I think we're okay. Yeah, that's better. I'll just leave that in there. I'll pour it in the little side dish I have of this color. This one is really getting thicker than that one. Why is that? That's the kind of, those are the questions I have. Okay, I think we're good on that. Let's take this. Ooh, right there. Ooh, made it. All right, we'll get a totally different view this time. Here we go. And action. Action. It looks like a tongue. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Ooh. Wow, dry as a bone in there. See, this one looks kind of chunky. Start. It seems like four and a half minutes is the perfect time. So what's your overall feeling about this particular set? And which set should I do next? Ooh, I don't know. I have a cold stone set that I haven't shown you where, you know the ice cream where they mix it on this cold piece of granite or whatever it's on, whatever it's on with the two paddles. They actually made a set, an at-home set. So I'm thinking about just bringing in some ice cream, a couple flavors, just to see how it works. 
and if I could do it. I hear it's very stressful on your hands, the people that work there. being so cautious but it still touches I wonder if it's just the use like it's the, the plastic is so bent up look at all that Oh, actually, plan change. I think I'm going to do an oven next. I have a very rare, very rare oven, which I will do next for you. And it's one of the most unique ovens I will ever show at the Lucky Penny Shop Shop. And I can't wait to show you. And my stomach is growling. I have not tasted a single bit of ice cream this whole time. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna say this one's ready to go. Just by looking at it. Let me give you one more lower straight in view. All right, the last, ooh, wait a minute. You there, you go there, my hand here. Well, I would say those worked out really good. It's time for me to clean up. Timer's gonna go off, hold on. I'll spare you that. But I will show you what's in here so I can Scrape this onto here, green first, because it's already dirty. Then the raspberry. And then you'll see what's in the machine now. All right, one more time to the sink. One every morsel. Let's see what's in here. Yep, pretty good, just a little bit in there. All right, these go in the freezer. Let me clean up, come back, and then I'll build all my desserts and give them a taste. All right, so this might be a tad difficult to get it all out in one final presentation video because I left the ice cream bar or ice cream uh, cone. What would you call that? What do they call that? 
They call that the ice cream bar. Okay, so I left the ice cream bar in there. Here is the chocolate and strawberry. Here is the mint and raspberry. And here is the vanilla. So I have a nice coloring of ice cream. But I will tell you, from what I saw in this, I was really excited to see purple ice cream. But even from here to here is slightly different. So it doesn't look like what they show on the box. But, you know, we understand that that's the case in a lot of uh, different uh, sets like this. So I'm going to fill this mainly with vanilla. Now I put this in the freezer, like I said, I wanted to get it nice and tough, which it is, so I can make this video work. I want to build my ice cream on the cone. Then I'm gonna do a sundae I'm trying to get a nice ice cream ball. Oh, couple things. One, there we go, I like that. We'll do vanilla. Okay, this, I didn't notice this at first, is their one third measuring cup. Now I'm glad I didn't use this because I would find this rather difficult, uh, but I did measure this compared to the measuring cup I was using and it matched. So it is a true, Third of a cup. And the last thing I noticed in the past, in this set here, they did say you could put some cold water into the mixture of the salt in ice. Now, I've done that before. Some sets don't actually tell you to do that. Some sets tell you to do that. It, it worked fine. So it's really probably what you want to do. For me, though, in this situation, now that I look retrospectively, it's probably better that I didn't because the water is going to be warmer. And with my lights and my situation, this is the best thing. So I'm gonna do a triple flavor scoop here. And hopefully it's gonna last. I'm working fast. Work fast. Let's just pretend we're at the ice cream shop. And now my last, I took these out. They were in the freezer for a good hour to get this, this thick. You see me struggling here? Here we go, the last scoop. Come on, buddy. Got my fingers all over it. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, I'm going to put probably three flavors in this and then build what I need to build. See, I left the last one in the freezer. So I'm gonna go get that as soon as I feel I'm good here. There's flavor one. Ooh, this one's the softest. See, I thought they would all be somewhat like this. There is flavor two. And I think I'm gonna get a little more flavor two. There you go, nice. That looks nice, doesn't it? And then flavor three. I think I wanna put, I'm gonna put this one here. The vanilla. See, that came out really nice. Okay, so I think we need a little bit more of the raspberry. Okay, this is probably a good time now to get treat number three. All right, there's treat number one. I want to just like the box. Well, they have a double scoop there. I have a triple scoop. Let's get this on here. There you go. This is probably the moment we've all been waiting for, right? Will it actually look like an ice cream treat? I think it does. Hey, I need a cherry with a stem. Right there. And now, this, ooh, look. It's a fresh brand new one. A few more. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna go get my ice cream bar. That's the one that you're supposed to pull out. If it doesn't pull out, you're supposed to warm up the outside. So let me grab that and I can show you all three right here. Okay, I had to put a rubber band around it to hold that in. Now let's just see if it comes out on its own. No, all right, so I'm just gonna warm it up a little in my hand. There's gonna be a point where it releases its suction. 
Okay. But don't those look good? They look really good. Let me grab my spoon. You know what? This whole time, I have not had a single taste of the ice cream, believe it or not. Nope. This is what I'm going to use. I think I can get it to stand up in that, but we'll see. Just warm it up. Okay, I feel that's helping. Usually when I put it under water, it's just too much. It melts too much. Okay, a little more. Can't rush a good thing. Think it'll stand right there let's see Ooh, it does all right there's my triple treats what do you think <laughs> all right so what do i take a bite of first i'll tell you i'm gonna get a little plate for that anyway because it just doesn't it doesn't look great it's all about the presentation okay so here is the chocolate ice cream bar Very nice. I would say, overall, it's very tasty. Let me try, well, let me try the sundae. I'm gonna leave that, because it's just so pretty. Ooh, my cherry fell. When did that happen? Why didn't you tell me? Or did you? I wanna try this raspberry. Here's the raspberry. Ooh, very nice. The vanilla. Good. The mint. Mmm. It's all very tasty. Hmm. I didn't try the strawberry, so I'm going to take some out of the little bowl. They're good. Back to the raspberry. Back to the mint. The chocolate. And then the vanilla. All right. Very successful. So, I explained the scooper to you. I explained adding water to the mixture. If you want, it doesn't really matter. I've done it both ways and it's worked both times. And I think I understand the machine now. Six minutes is way too long, especially on the first batch for mixing. It's hard to get off the metal drum. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. You do see all the wonderful combinations of flavors I can make here. And thanks for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. We're coming to an end of this particular video, but there's more in the way. Remember, a very special oven. That is the next one I'm going to do for you. Uh, probably closer to next weekend. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!